They are destroying homes, property, and land. But even more worrying, they are destroying tradition and heritage. ISIS has been ruthless in its attacks against religious and ethnic minorities in Syria and Iraq. A U.S. bipartisan committee got to hear first-hand accounts of what it's like for some of these targeted groups. A bomb was detonated at our convent in Mosul. Five sisters were in the building at the time, and they were lucky to have escaped and harmed. In a year, the attacks haven't stopped. The terrorists have been crippled by targeted strikes, but they've also gained control of key cities. Two U.S. legislators have proposed the so-called Protecting Religious Minorities Persecuted by ISIS Act. If approved, it would give relief to displaced religious minorities who've been forced out of their homes. Furthermore, it would give them priority in seeking asylum in the U.S. But the solution isn't that simple. There are many who say, why don't the Christian just leave Iraq and move to another country and be done with it? To this question, we, should res we would respond, why should we leave our country? What have we done? The terrorists are hoping to eliminate any cultural, archaeological or religious monuments that threaten the Islamic State. From the destruction of the tomb of the Prophet Jonah in Mosul, Iraq, to the Dura Europus in Syria, which includes a Christian chapel. I want to share some examples of ISIS's destruction. The chapel dates to about 235 AD and contains the oldest known depiction of Jesus Christ. The site has now been extensively looted and is currently under ISIS control. The bill was introduced in the month of March, but it still has a long way to go. It would have to be approved by the House and the Senate and finally be signed into law by President Obama for it to be put into action.